it is officially now too sweeping hot. You know when you're British and you know when it's hot, you know when it's cold, you know when it's windy, you know when it's raining, you know when it's snowy, and everything in between. Basically, there is never the perfect weather in the UK. Ever. We will moan about everything. You going to play on the monkey bars? Yes. Go on. Get some practice and I'll come and film you in a minute. Okay. Okay, so here we are. We are at our vegetable garden. It is the glare of midday sun, which is not the time to film at all. But we had the most spectacular storm here last night. It was about two hours of continual lightning. Eventually we got good thunder with it as well. We had two power cuts, then the rain came, then the wind came, and it just went crazy. It was wonderful. I love storms. I felt sorry for those that don't, because it was a bit of a kicker, um, but it was absolutely amazing. But the true gardener that I am, I laid awake thinking, mm, I wonder what's happening with the plot. Do you think my tomatoes are gonna be okay? And um, they seem to be. It seems that although they are not um, perfectly tied up, they're not terribly tied up. So they're all alive. Oh wow, everything's gone boom. Let me show you this. Well, great white purple didn't seem to want to join us at the tomato party. And now there are absolutely loads. Some of them are tiny still, like cherry size. Some of them are getting bigger. Has this one got any? Yep. And we got some down here too. You see them? They've got like dark purple tops and then green underneath. So I'm looking forward to those. There are so many flowers. You're going to be a biggie, aren't you? Normal tomato flower. Crazy big tomato flower. It's nice to see that we're eventually getting fruit with the flowers too. Um, these do absolutely need tying in, um, but I'm not going to worry about that today. I'm not going to spend an hour or two in this heat and this sun tying in tomatoes. See that right up there? Our Greek gigantes are off. In fact, what I want to do is train that to come up over this. Um, and in here, if we actually go inside, We have beans. And these are beans for saving for like butter beans. They're Greek gigantes, so they come out as really big kind of butter bean sized beans. So that's what I'm doing the majority of them for, but I am keen to try them when they um, are just like runner beans and see what they do. Let's go back out. Oh gosh, and I've lost my hat. <laughs> I'm not used to wearing hats at all. This is my dad's hat. It's a BSA hat. We had BSAs um, when I was little. We had sidecars. And um, I've got a BSA Bantam now. It's nice to wear his hat. And he can keep me protected from this sun. There are so many tomatoes now. I will tell you one thing though. This sun gold, if you can see, there has been two already taken. And these two were really ripe. They didn't have any green left on the bottom. And Rue and I tasted those and they were disgusting. They were I mean, they were really, really bitter, really sour, not like sun gold at all. And they were new seeds. Um, they got, I, I only wanted to grow heirlooms this year. For some reason I ended up growing two sun gold plants. I don't know how was they were from like a, a shop brought packet of seeds so gosh knows but they're really disgusting we do have a casualty should we get you tied up little one that means i need to go and get my string let's go get my string something else i need to do we're not going to do this dead over is move that frame because that's 
going to be used for the cucumbers that are down the other end now um, because at the moment they've got no support whatsoever okay monkey bars now let's go of doing the monkey bars okay. straight holding onto here and then this going on to each other. Go on. She's done really well. You want to do your handstand? Yeah. She's got a handstand she wants to show you and then I'm going to take you back into the garden. Pardon? The handstand is when I could just go upside down. Go on then. Let me just get on. And it's cabbage butterfly season so there's hundreds of cabbage butterflies. There are hundreds of cabbage butterflies, isn't there? Handstand. Well done. That looks cool. Did you put a lot of practice in? Yeah, well it obviously I paid off. Myself by holding that. She's been practicing on those monkey bars for a while. They were something that she was a bit afraid of and um, she's defeated her fear so I'm quite proud of her. Can we take all the water bottles out of my basket? So it doesn't wear on. Let's go. I can't actually go this way anymore, but I want to show you something. Can you see? We now have a very temporary, but effective fence, and it goes all the way up the plot, past these beautiful cosmos. Aren't they gorgeous? Past the new brassica frame that the bearded dude built for me the other day. <laughs> it is very sturdy made out of um, trampoline frames. That shall do the job. That's the raspberries, which are still producing gorgeous, flower, um, gorgeous fruit, not flowers. And um, all the way up to the top. So if you are quite new to our channel, then what you may not know is that last year um, we had somebody take um, all of our tomatoes every time they nearly got ripe somebody would wipe all of our tomatoes out they harvested um, all of our dwarf bean harvests I think we got well about half as many harvests as we should have um, they took cucumbers they took broccoli they took a whole head of cauliflower um, I, I went into hospital because I had a, um, a internal hemorrhage and the day that I went in I'd seen the cauliflower and I thought I'll pick that for tea as it was I didn't get to because I went into hospital and when I did come out like three days later it was gone um, we got very very tired of growing vegetables for other people basically so this year we said we we're going to fence everything in now obviously this side this isn't fenced in yet that side's got that temporary fence it's just going to be a matter of time money resources but we will get there but at least for now the long side of it's done and we are going to change the layout of the plot a little bit so when we do put fences in it's not meaning that we've just got these paths that just run across the plot we can actually make our way through the plot from top to bottom without having to keep coming out with the path and go back in which is quite frankly a pain absolutely necessary until we get that sorted but um for now I'm just pleased that we have something in place to protect these beautiful tomatoes, which I'm going to tie up now. In tying up tomatoes, I use um, cotton jute twine um, because one, if it gets left on the cane or it falls on the ground, it's biodegradable. I don't like using any plastics if I can avoid it. Quick fix. 
but it's done the job. All right. Was there anything else I wanted to show you today? Yes, I think there was actually. Come see this. So what do you guys think of marrows? My plot neighbour has given me this big trailing marrow to try. I have to be honest, the idea of them doesn't fill me with joy and I'm not like, yeah, yeah, I'll give that a go. Um, but no, we're going to try one because you have to try everything once. If I say that to Rue in terms of eating her dinner, I have to do that myself, don't I? One for growing and two for trying to eat it. Butternut squashes, the replacement ones are doing good. There they go, or well, there they grow, should I say. And there's one in there too. And the Burgess Buttercup are training themselves up the frame. And I'm going to train that one to grow up this frame. It's been a terrible year for radishes for some reason. They all seem really small. Oh. Well, it's not going to break any records, is it? Mm. Whew. I remember what variety that is now. That's the extra spicy one. That's a good radish. Right, Rue, I can spot a ripe tomato. This way, follow me. Mind the beans on the floor. I still haven't planted. What can you see? Spoon. Spoon tomato. Is he going to get one? Just the dark red one. See how tiny these tomatoes are? They're my favourite. They're gorgeous, aren't they? Go on then, you can eat it. So far, for the last 20, 25 years, they are the only tomato that I can actually eat without getting horrendous like, allergic reaction to them. Can you see these little guys glowing in the sun? Aren't they beautiful? They're conjoined twins. <laughs> Both of them are. This is Amethyst Jewel and they are just pretty. Love those. This is supposed to be Amethyst Jewel as well. But I really don't think it is, no. Apparently it's not. Apparently it's not. It's a good producer. So, but there's no unprecising on those at all, is there? Of course they are. Oh, yeah. oh my gosh, that's an even smaller one. Look how tiny that one is. Is it ready? Yeah. How cute. These are going to be ready soon. Look at them, Rue. Can you see the colours on those? Yeah? And just the ones around the back are nearly ready. They've got a lot of mud splash on them from the rain last night. You know, it's still hard. <sighs> Apologies if I've been oh, sniffing through this video. That's another atomic grape. Do you want to check it? Is it soft? Um, I've had oh, a cold since we've been on holiday. It's green still. It's still green. <laughs> Soon, Rue, we will have so many tomatoes, we won't know what to do with them. Beardy dude said to me yesterday, so, when all of these ripen, what's the plan? Eat them? Process them? <sighs> Resigned to the fact that I'm going to be trapped in the kitchen for days. <laughs> um, we've never grown this many tomatoes. So that in itself is a learning curve, processing them afterwards. The chest freezer is full, so I've got to make some more rhubarb wine and some more fruit things and bobs and work through some of last year's frozen stuff but it's going to be a bit of a um a learning curve as I say to process all of this stuff and um, I need to acquire quite a lot of jars um, for making jams and for making sauces and like chopped tomatoes and things like that so yeah you see my sweet corn I'm proud of that sweet corn <laughs> It is currently 49.3 in the greenhouse and it is um, 49.3 so that's 120 Fahrenheit in the greenhouse at the moment, 49.3 degrees. So let's reset that. It got down to 18.9 in here last night which is good for my peppers. I think they're really enjoying the heat. 
um, me not so much so um yeah I am going to put this video up before I put our plot tour up because um, that's going to take a long time to edit so hopefully you'll see that before the weekend um, yeah. I'm going home I'm going to do some planning now because it is Rue's birthday this weekend and our little space whiz kid um, I've got to plan her birthday cake I always use like several tiers decorative crazy cakes and I still haven't got a clue what I'm going to do for hers yet so I need to go home sort all that out and then do tea for tonight and get out of this sun so thank you for watching this has been jazz and rue from alternative small holding and um we've enjoyed thank you for watching we've enjoyed having you with us today and um, as you can see not so much damage after the storm at all so i'm pleased with that take care i'll see you soon Bye bye